A miracle for a young man by the name of Dallas Weems. He's a young father who wanted a second chance at life after a horrible accident. Dallas, a construction worker, lost his face in November 2008 when he came in contact with a high voltage line. I see every day now as a challenge that I, I am willfully needing. Oh, this is incredible. Brigham and Women's has become the first hospital in the country. The first in the nation now. The first full face transplant here. Elf complete gezichtstransplantaties uitgevoerd. A full face transplant. All thanks to a medical miracle happening right here in Boston. It's a tremendous experience uh, to be able to stand up here and share the news that we have once again broken new ground. After a 19-hour procedure last week that involved a medical team of more than 30 people. Even for us, it sometimes feels like a miracle. He is doing very, very well. He will be able to uh, breathe through his nose and smell. He'll be able to eat better and speak better. Dallas always said after the injury that he now had a choice. He could choose to get bitter or he could choose to get better. Thank God today he's better. Dallas and his family and the medical team said today they are indebted to that donor family who wishes to remain anonymous. We offer our most sincere and heartfelt thanks to the family who gave Dallas this most precious gift. The most amazing moment is when you sort of finish the operation because someone who has no face, no features, it's literally just bare bone. And suddenly you see everything there just like, no, it's so profound, the change, the improvement. This is beyond anything that I even thought would happen when he first received the injury. But th this, this is fantastic. When I woke up, I was able to feel that I had features again, eyes, a nose, and a mouth. I even said out loud that this should not be medically possible. He made medical history. Now the Texas dad who underwent the nation's first full face transplant is making his first public appearance. An amazing experience to be able just to feel a kiss again after two and a half years of having no feeling whatsoever in my face. An extraordinary moment between a dad and the daughter he loves. She was amazed. Uh, she actually said, Daddy, you're so handsome. Weens should gain facial sensation, muscle control, and improved speech in the coming months. And I am only 26 years old, so there's a lot of life left to live.